Good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Canada Basketball National Championship Gold Medal Game between Team Ontario and Team Nova Scotia. For tonight's game, Team Nova Scotia will be the visitors. And at this time, we would like to announce the players from both of the teams, beginning with Team Nova Scotia. Number four, Andrew Milner. Number five, a six-three guard from Hamilton Plains, Alex News. Number seven, from Bedford, Nova Scotia, six-foot-four forward, Tristan High. Number nine, from Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, at six-foot-four, Eli Crusher. Six foot nine from Hamilton, Ontario. Number thirteen, Brandon Kenyon. At six foot three from Toronto, Ontario, Shaquan Barrett. At six foot four from Mississauga, Ontario, number nine, Grant Adu. Yeah. 
Joe Benetti, assistant coach Luke Stevenson, assistant manager John Corpacchio, manager Nathaniel Mitchell, and therapist Ray Horn Molly. If I could now ask everyone to stand and turn and face the Canadian flag for the singing of our national anthem by veterans of own Saffron High. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the championship game for the Canada Basketball National Championships for the U-17 men. In tonight's contest, we have host Nova Scotia versus Ontario. Uh, my name is Chris Holland. I'll be doing the play-by-play, -play, and with me is a former uh, Nova Scotia uh, All-Star standout, Chris Fitzgerald. Uh, thanks for joining us, Chris. Thanks. I'm happy to help you out. And we'll do our best to remain unbiased here. Uh, it, it was a great, uh, a great start here uh, in the tournament. Uh, both Ontario and Nova Scotia came in as favorites to this tournament, and they have uh, proven their way, making it to the finals. Uh, Ontario, on their first day of play, uh, top team Nova Scotia. And uh, Nova Scotia looking for a little bit of retribution today when it, when it can, uh, counts the most. Mm -hmm. Just a friendly reminder to all the fans and players of the game that the spectator code of conduct is in effect. Please respect all those involved in the game by showing your support in a positive and friendly A couple of uh, player standouts to watch out for in this uh, contest. Obviously, uh, Chris, both team both teams are deep, uh, 12, 12 deep. Like from, from 1 through 12, there's either team goes to the bench, there's really no drop-off. But uh, 
A couple of standout, uh, obviously for Team Nova Scotia, R.J. Barrett, a lot of hype around uh, this young player uh, coming in, uh, playing on the uh, national uh, under-17 team. And for Team Nova Scotia, two of their uh, standouts, team captain number 13, Alex Carson, and uh, playing uh, down in the U.S. for DeMatha is number six, Nate Darling. Uh, so those are really uh, a couple of the players to, uh, to watch out for, but um, in this kind of game and with this much uh, talent on the floor, uh, really anybody can step up and stand up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've also seen some great performances in this tournament for Nova Scotia by uh, an underage player in Chase Tynes and uh, Rowan Power, number 21. Yeah, this is uh, Rowan's uh, third year, I believe, on the team. Yeah, played two years underage. We literally have the largest crowd that we've seen in this tournament. This building, it's probably a record attendance uh, for, for any event uh, here, definitely for, uh, for basketball. Nova Scotia wins the tip. And step back, jump shot, Nate Darling's good. The crowd is electric in here. Oh, there's, it's literally standing room only. There isn't a seat to be found or a standing space to be found either. No switch forces that turnover. We would like to apologize in advance to uh, any of our fans watching out there if we mispronounce uh, a name. Uh, we uh, didn't get a chance to verify all of it. And there are uh, some discrepancies between uh, numbers and names. I think there was a few changes uh, in particular uh, by Team uh, Ontario. So uh, if we do get it wrong, we do apologize. We'll probably refer a little bit more uh, by number. There's a three-point shot. That's good. Number 11. Set on Merritt for three. By Kit. Oh. By Shaquan Barrett. Ontario back with the ball. And the ball's thrown away on the baseline. Great defensive positioning there by Rowan Power. Both teams uh, do look to run, uh, but a uh, lot of defensive uh, talent on both sides. Three-point set by Nate Darling's off the mark. Chase Tynes comes up with the rebound. Alice Carson driving in. Throws it out, and take by Nate is off the mark. Comes down with the rebound in top. Fouled in the act. Nate Darling's been aggressive from the very start. Number uh, 13, Brandon Kenyon. Nice crossover move. Just off the mark. Got Great rebound by Nate Darling. And they push the ball up the floor. Chase Tynes running. And he's fouled in the act. <laughs> Fouls on number 11 for Team Ontario. Chase Tynes goes one for two from the line. No Scotia just playing straight up, man. Miss inside by RJ. Campbell Colpitz pushing the ball. Oh. No Scotia keeps the ball. Three by Alex Carson's off the mark. Ontario comes down with the rebound. The Ontario team has a huge height advantage over Nova Scotia, so it'll be interesting to see if Nova Scotia can compete on the boards. 
Nova Scotia really has to rely on, on uh, full team uh, effort by defense. Little breakdown there. Uh, Nova Scotia didn't help the helper on that one there. When you get that, that help, you really got to make sure you, you cover off that guy coming ah. in to help. Off the mark by Rowan Bear. Power. <clears throat> Nova Scotia retains the ball. Seven eighteen on the clock. Tie game, 5-5. Five, five. Three-point shot attempt by Alex Carson's off the mark. Ontario comes up with the rebound. And it helps late on that one by Alex Carson. Ontario go to line for two. Tristan Hyde checks into the game for Nova Scotia. First one's good. Ontario uh, goes up by two. Corner shot by Nate Darling, just off the mark. Ontario comes up with the rebound, they're looking to run. Great recovery by Chase Tynes to get that block. Scotia running down the other end. And Nate Darling's fouled in the act, he'll go to line for two. Great energy by both teams so far here, Chris. Yeah, absolutely. Both being very aggressive from the start. They both know what's at stake and they want to win. Balls on number 13, Brandon Kenya. Darling to the line for two. I believe if Nova Scotia wins this game, it will be the first time in the province's history of winning a gold medal at this Nationals. Uh, since since the realignment going to the U17 yeah. format, uh, they have won uh, Canada games in the past. Uh, we're going pretty far back. Yeah. Uh, one of the coaches of me last year on the 15 team, Wade Smith, would have been on the last uh, gold medal winning team for uh, for Team Nova Scotia. Ontario, of course, always the powerhouse at these tournaments. Mm -hmm. They definitely came with. Uh, a pretty stacked oh. roster of players. <clears throat> Missed pass on that one. Some uh, Alex Carson and Andrew Miller not quite on the same page on that attempt there. And last year, uh, for a bit of a change, Manitoba took the final game over Ontario. Uh, they lost in the quarterfinals this year, though. So. Chase time. And they throw blocks, trying the around the back. Let's see what they run on the baseline here, Chris. Tristan Hyde inside, good for two. Ontario still looking to push the pace. And tough defense there by Andrew Milner. Ontario comes up with the ball. And it's fouled on the attempt by Chase Tynes. It's great to run, but you do got to make sure you have full control of that ball before you start pushing it up the floor like that. First one's good. One for two for the line for Ontario. Nate Darling with a long three, just off the mark. Andrew Miller comes up with the ball, and tough take by Nate Darling for two. 
Team Nova Scotia up by three, 5.20 left in the first quarter. And travel call. Ontario was a little anxious on that play. Three point by Alex Carson's off the mark. Tristan High comes up with the rebound. Oh. Turnover by Andrew Milner. Kind of got caught underneath the hoop without uh, knowing he was going to do. Tough basket there by RJ Barrett. He does live up to the height. Mm. Fade away by Nate Darling's off. Long two is good for Ontario. They go up one. 4.20 left in the first quarter. Nice crossover by Nate. And he's fouled going to the hoop. It's really been aggressive driving to the hoop uh, today. And that's what Nova Scotia needs if they're going to win this game. A little more patience on the on the offense too in the last few games uh, haven't really been scoring to their potential and uh, you know a little patience work the ball around a little bit more to see uh, to see what they can find they're such a well-rounded team uh, really anybody can step up in any game and uh, and take it over yeah absolutely Ontario of course extremely uh, well-rounded and, and Rowan power fouls RJ Barrett Not sure how he could argue that one, but he wanted to. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. And three-point attempt is off the mark. Nice take by Alex Carson, good for two. And they go up by three. 3.45 left in the first quarter. Nice spin move, just off the mark. Let's see what Nova Scotia wants to run here. Oh. Ah. When too many people jump at the ball like that, that's what happens, offensive rebound. Yeah, yeah, they just they forget about the other one. It's all about the initial uh, possession. So, uh, yeah, in a game like this, uh, gold medal game is really going to come down to uh, the little details, uh, especially in a tight game, a one-point game like this. Step back three for Alex Carson. Oh. Good. That'll get the crowd excited. It's a nice advantage when you have a 6-6 uh, uh, player who can step back uh, on and take that three-point shot. And the corner three is just off the mark by Ontario. Nova Scotia looking to run. Ah. Looked like Tristan and I got uh, tangled up a little bit there and yeah. uh, prevented him from getting to the ball. The referees uh, just thought it was incidental contact. Spin move isn't good, but he uh, gets the, uh, the put back just off the mark. Ontario still comes up the board. You play great defense, Chris, but if you don't come up the rebound, right, it's all for naught. Barrett from Barrett. Tough hoop by Nate Darling going to the other side. 
very good at those little flips. Yeah, little English off the backboard. Yeah. Tough hoop going in there for uh, Shaquan Barrett. He's, he's uh, off to a pretty strong start so far in this first quarter. That was a good no call by the refs on that play, I think. Three point attempt, Nate Garland's good. Nova Scotia shooting the ball very well in this first quarter. Just over a minute to go, 19 for Ontario, 23 Nova Scotia. Nobody likes that call, Chris, uh, of course, but um, again, you know, Nova Scotia does have to look the box out first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, you give up that offensive board. If you do the little things, box out, then you don't have to worry about try trying to get that block in there on the putback, uh, you know, from, from out of position there. So, um, again, I, I, I'm sure uh, Coach Timmons will uh, certainly emphasize boxing out uh, for the, uh, at the end of this quarter. Yes, yeah, certainly, and you especially have to pay attention when you're guarding an athlete like R.J. Uh, Barrett. Barrett. Missed attempt there. 40 seconds left to go. 20 for Ontario, 23 for Nova Scotia. And the circus wow. shot by Nate Darling is good. He's, uh, he's come out with uh, like a man on a mission here on this one here, Chris. Long three just off the mark for Ontario. Rebound by Campbell Kulpitz. Nova Scotia looking for the last shot. We've got 10 seconds to go in play. Skip pass over to Rowan. Back to Nate Darling for the long three. And just off the mark. Great, great energy from, from both teams out there, Chris. Uh, at the end of the first quarter, 20 points for Ontario, 25 for Nova Scotia. In their first matchup in the tournament, uh, they really dug, you know, team, team Nova Scotia really dug a hole for themselves. So I think there was a lot of emphasis coming in this game to get off to a quick start, and they've been very aggressive. Uh, crashing the boards offensively, driving to the hoop, and uh, taking those open threes when they're given to them. One of the things that they uh, they do need to emphasize on, as we talked about, is the defensive rebounding. Mm -hmm. Team Ontario has been been working hard. They uh, they need they've been getting some offensive boards. Just on the defensive side, I think they have to realize that there's few few shooters out there on Team Nova Scotia. If if they're across the half court line, you better you better pick them up because uh, they definitely uh, shoot with range. Mm -hmm. Nova Scotia was missing a bit in the first quarter, but if Ontario continues to leave them open like that, they aren't going to have a good time. Basketball Canada would like to thank the following local sponsors for their support of the 2015 Boys National Championships. Eastleigh, what a Rockies, tremendous uh, atmosphere here at St. Mary's in, uh, in Halifax. This crowd is absolutely uh, busting here. Just a uh, just, uh, great whole week of uh, basketball with both the uh, under 15, under 17 national championships uh, being hosted at St. Mary's. Uh, basketball Nova Scotia has done a fantastic job. There's literally been over 150 volunteers uh, to try to make this an exceptional experience for uh, all these young players and, and coaches and fans for, uh, for basketball. Uh, so just a little shout out to, uh, to all of them because uh, obviously to run a, an event like this it, it really takes uh, a massive effort from our volunteer community and uh, the basketball community here in Nova Scotia definitely came out in droves. You can see already Rome Power glued to Barrett. And he's not a fun guy to have all over you either. Absolutely not. And you can see uh, a battle going on there. Just off the mark. 
Nate Darling comes up with a rebound. You don't see many players who work as hard on defense as Rome Power. Alex Carson's come out to a good start, so let's hope Nova Scotia doesn't forget about him in there. Great drive to the hoop by Rome Power. He loves that spin move to the left. As a left-handed player, it's his go-to move. Str struggled offensively in the semifinal, but he gives so many other things on the court that if he scores, it's re it really is a bonus. Yeah. Great contest by Alex Carson. Oh. And the ball goes to Nova Scotia. Smallest player on the floor going for the defensive rebound against probably the tallest player on the floor. Yeah, Campbell Colpitz has really uh, stepped up his game this year, uh, playing at uh, Halifax Grammar. And um, wow. worked under the side. There's a long three by Alex Carson just off the mark. Yeah, both both uh, both sides here. I mean, Ontario is always extremely strong, and just a just a tough take to the hoop there. Uh, it gets to Herm, go to line for one. Coming up a little hurt on that one. R.J. Barrett will take a take take a little a little rest. And he completes the three-point play. 8.45 in the second. Uh, 23 Ontario, 27 Nova Scotia. Nate Darling comes off the top. Skip pass to the corner. Uh. Good ball movement right now. And oh. great drive by Rowan Power. He maneuvers his body around two defenders and makes a layup. Nova Scotia really slow getting back there. Yeah, great, great, great team effort on the offensive side, but as soon as that ball goes in the hole, you, you, you have to make your decision to get back. And you know Coach Timmons isn't happy about that one. Is Coach Timmons ever really happy, Chris? <laughs> Maybe if they win this game today. Uh, yeah, I, uh, he's been smiling. He's yeah. been smiling. Just off the mark on the last one by Campbell Colpitz. Great shot there by Shaquan Barrett. Again, he's, he's having a, a great, great first half here, Chris. He's been very consistent for Team Ontario. Long three, Nate Darling short. Not necessarily uh, a shot that Coach, Coach Timmons would have liked to have seen. Um, Foul in there by number 21, Rowan Power, Tristan Hyde and Jack Campbell. Coming in for uh, Team Nova Scotia. Andrew Milner coming in now as well. Like I said, with this with this team, Chris, from uh, Nova Scotia, they're, they're so well balanced from top to bottom that they really don't drop down any when they go to the bench. Step back jumpers off the mark. Great box out by uh, Jack, Jack Campbell. Campbell. I think he boxed out two Ontario players yeah. there. Oh. A little hustle play. Nice little Great pass. pass. Oh, man. Nice play in there. Alex Carson uh, ensures that Jack gets that assist in there. Seven minutes left to play in the second quarter. 27, Nova, uh, Ontario, 31, Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia needs to step up a little higher on that drive. Like, they're, they're waiting. They're just they're picking it up way too deep inside there. So, yeah. um you know, great, great drive again by Ontario. They're really going strong to the hoop. They got to get their feet outside of the charge circle. Yeah. They try to force a little bit and gives up. Saunders. Gives up the easy two on the other end. Ontario ties it up with that one. Yeah, they can they can put points up fast on the board. Ball's tipped out of bound by Ontario. As expected, uh, R.J. Barrett's rest was uh, was quick. Mm -hmm. and back on the floor. Ontario playing good defense. Crossover by Nate Darling. Uses oh. body to try to shield it. 
Uh, misses out on that. Ontario comes up with a loose ball. And Ontario called for the travel. Great defense there by Campbell and Milner. Stayed straight up all the way. Andrew pulls up for three and it's good. Puts Team Nova Scotia up by three. It's been a great contest so far, Chris. Unfortunate foul on the backcourt there. At least it was 50 feet instead of 85 feet, Chris. <laughs> no team fouls uh, against Ontario so far in this quarter. Three on Nova Scotia. Those fouls could come into play uh, with penalty. Again, late step up there by Team Nova Scotia. They're really not uh, committing to that step up and stop that drive. Ontario's kind of found what's working for them here. Jack Campbell comes up with the ball, just misses. Oh. Sweet pass. And the flush inside by Ontario. A beautiful play there. Puts him up by one. 4.45 left to play. And travel. Nova Scotia takes a timeout. Fans are really getting their money's worth in this game. It's living up to uh, expectations so far. We would like to make this reminder again Ontario up 35 to 34. Please go down to the front desk. If you don't know where that is, you can come to the scorer's table and we'll get you hooked back up with your family. That's Amina Elizabeth from Quebec. When these two teams played on Monday, it was very close in the first half, but then, as you said, Nova Scotia kind of let it slip and dug themselves into a hole that they just couldn't get out of. So they're definitely trying not to let this lead get much bigger at this point. Ontario brings the ball up the floor. Straight up defense there by Tristan just off the mark, uh, Ontario. Ball with Nate Darling. Drives in. I think he expected the contact on that one, asking the referee what he needs to do. The referee not agreeing with that one. <laughs> I actually thought the defense was up pretty straight. up for the long two. Andrew Milner, one of the underage players for Nova Scotia, four on the team. Uh, Andrew Milner, we have Chase Tynes, Eli Crozier, and Alexander Z. Muse. Great experience for those uh, underage players for next year's team too, to have this opportunity to play a year early. Coming in for Nova Scotia is Rowan Power, 
Alex Carson taking a well-deserved rest. And the first free throw is good. This ties the game. 4.01 left to go in the second quarter. Off the mark. Rowan Power comes up the rebound. Communication there by Nova Scotia. One of the things I'm seeing a, a little difference in two teams, Nova Scotia seems to be uh, kind of working like a four out, one in offense. Uh, moving the ball around the perimeter, there's not a lot of movement after they pass the ball. Team Ontario, they're getting a lot of slashing through the hoop, and it's really been working for them. R.J. Bear trying to force that one. And unfortunately, turns the ball over for Team Ontario. Little rule we had with our uh, U15 team last year, Chris, was you couldn't do it with three dribbles, pass it up. Uh, after that, you're just dribbling too much and just trying to create something that's not there. Tried to make that one a little fancy and almost Five seconds left on the turnover. shot clock. Corner three. It is good by Andrew Milner. He's hit his last three shots. Giving a great boost off the bench for Nova Scotia. And three point shot is good for a team like It ties it up. Great back and forth game here. Nate Darling does a great job shielding that ball with his body and, and getting a good shot off there, Chris. Puts Nova Scotia up by two. It's a tough miscue there. That's one where uh, boys needed to talk and Rowan Power needed to step up sooner so Nate didn't uh, drop down on that one. Ended up giving up the wide open three. It was good for Ontario. Andrew testing uh, his heat. He's off a little bit. Ontario. <laughs> Rowan Barrett turns over the ball. Timeout called by Team Ontario. Ontario up by one, 42-41. Two minutes to go in the second quarter. Seems like on both sides, when they get the ball movement and, and they really move off the ball a lot more, it's opening up their offense. Uh, this one-on-one, uh, -on -one, it really isn't working out for, for either team as much. So Chris, uh, tell us a little bit about your uh, future plans for next year. You, uh, you're one of the uh, standout players for Team Nova Scotia's 17 team last year. Uh, you just finished your, uh, your grade 12 season at uh, CEC in Truro. So where are you off to uh, next year? I will be playing at uh, the University of Western Ontario. And uh, so does that mean you're cheering for Ontario now too right yet? Or? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Most of my teammates are from Ontario, so this will give me something to brag about if uh, Nova Scotia can pull out this win today. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a great program to go to, Chris. Uh, we know we're, we're all proud of you uh, here for getting the opportunity. Nope, uh, it looked like it was tipped out. Yeah, it was tipped out by Ron Bear. Heads up play by Andrew Milner to not try to save that one.
Tough take by Rome Power. We are seeing a little more off-ball movement, which is good. Team Nova Scotia gets lucky on that one. They really yeah. don't step up on it. It's just missed uh, layup. Nate Darling again goes to the other side and gets the roll. Great concentration on those tough finishes. And Campbell Colpitz comes up with the ball. Wow. And we get a loose ball foul there on Rowan Barrett. A little frustration foul. Yep, bad response to the mistake on the turnover. Now he has another foul too. That's at least four turnovers for him in the first half. Yeah, he has been contributing in so many other ways in this game too, Chris. Like, oh, absolutely. you know, deflections, rebounds, uh, scoring. Really is, uh, as I said earlier, he does live up to the hype here. He's just, uh, he's having a little bit of uh, of trouble. Nova Scotia giving him all, all that they can. And right there, he just kind of proves what we talked about. Real tough hoop. R.J. Barrett. Timeout, Team Nova Scotia. Great players uh, don't uh, don't stay down for long like that. Absolutely. Don't forget, at halftime is your last chance to get Canada basketball. Puts Ontario up by one. Available in the retail area, so make sure to grab your gear before it's too late. Tonight's game is being broadcast across Canada by Eastlink. Eastlink is a proud sponsor of the 2015. U15 and U17 Boys National Basketball Championship. Learn more about Eastlink bundles, wireless, home security, local TV, and more at eastlink.ca. Thirty-three point four seconds left to go here. Four team fouls against Nova Scotia. Only one on Ontario. Wow. Ontario kind of takes uh, takes one from Nova Scotia. Doesn't step up. Stop the drive on that one. Andrew Milner gets the uh, high off the glass layup. Great recovery there by Tristan Hyde. And the end of the first half, Ontario 44, Nova Scotia 45. It's just been a great game on both sides there, Chris. I don't think the fans could ask for much more right now. Maybe a couple of overtimes. <laughs> Well, we're going to try to get some stats here, folks, uh, before the start of the uh, second half. Uh, we're probably going to uh, sign out here for about 10 minutes, and then we'll come back. We'll give a little recap of uh, what's happened in the first half and uh, just get ready for uh, a great second contest or, or a second half of this contest here. It's uh, really proved to be uh, worthy of a gold medal match.
as you can see, we have James, Jeff, James Johnson from the Toronto Raptors. Can you give a round of applause? We got, we got Alex Johnson. We got Danny Smith. Anthony Anderson. And we got a lot of guys coming in to be a part of this. So if you're here tomorrow and you're not doing anything, come down to Canada Game Center and watch local celebrities and celebrities play basketball tomorrow for a great cause. Thank you. And, what, and first and foremost, if it wasn't for this great basketball here, we would not be here. So this is great entertaining basketball, and let's move Nova Scotia to a victory. At 2 o'clock tomorrow, I'm sorry, 2 o'clock.
Okay, folks, we have uh, just over three minutes left at halftime. Uh, just a few uh, few player stats to uh, try to report here for everyone. And it looks like we have the uh, Team Ontario information uh, straightened out, which uh, we appreciate uh, everyone out there understanding that uh, sometimes there's some technical difficulties. Uh, for Team Ontario, uh, number six, RJ Barrett, uh, played 17 and a half minutes. Uh, one personal foul, five points. Number seven, Keishon Sa Saunders, seven minutes. No fouls, six points. Uh, Lloyd Pandy uh, played almost eight and a half minutes. No fouls, no points. Number nine, Grant Adu, uh, played nearly the whole first half with 19 minutes, 15 seconds. No fouls, 16 points. Uh, number 10, Anthony Minich. Just over four minutes of play. Uh, number uh, 11, Shaquan Barrett, 16 minutes of play, one foul, 13 points. Number 13, Brandon Keenan, 11 and a half minutes, two fouls and two points. Uh, Jordan Lyons, 15 minutes, 45 seconds playing time, one foul, two points. And that's for uh, Team Ontario. Total, total fouls first half, five, very disciplined, and 44 points. For Team Nova Scotia, uh, Andrew Milner, uh, just under 10 minutes of play, uh, with 10 points, no fouls. Uh, Nate Darling played nearly 20 minutes, no fouls, uh, which I believe is incorrect, but we could be wrong on that. Um, 21 points, leading all scorers. Uh, Tristan Hyde with 14 and a half minutes, no fouls, two points. Uh, Campbell Colpitts with uh, nearly 15 minutes of play. Uh, no fouls, no points. Eli Krauser, two and a half minutes of play with one foul, no points. Chase Tynes, six and a half minutes, two fouls and one point. Jack Campbell, uh, just under three minutes of play with one foul, no points. Welcome back, everyone. Alex Prepare Carson, half, no uh, 14 Ontario, minutes, 17 44. seconds team with Nova two Scotia fouls, ball. seven points. Rowan Power with nearly 15 minutes of play with two fouls and four points. And that's a total team uh, of 18 fouls for uh, Nova Scotia, 45 points. So back with me is a former uh, Nova Scotia standout player, Chris Fitzgerald, soon to be Western Ontario player. Must be excited. You're uh, you're taking off uh, next week, is it, Chris? This Thursday, actually. This Thursday. Yeah, five days left in Nova Scotia. Um, be home. We have a tournament at Cape Breton University in the fall, which will be nice to get home for a bit before uh, Christmas. Yeah, I'm sure uh, sure the locals would, uh, would love seeing you there too, Chris. And the game's underway. Nick Darling comes out shooting uh, off the mark for, from three-point land. Ontario RJ Barrett looking to run. Misses shot, gets the put back, and puts uh, Ontario up one. Alex Carson, a long three up top is good. Alex Carson from Nick Puts Nova Scotia up by two.
Chase Tynes uh, didn't play a lot, got into early foul trouble. And R.J. Barrett makes a tough runner inside to tie the game up. Skip pass to the corner. Chase Tynes is good. Chase three for Nova Scotia. First half, we had 12 lead changes there, Chris. Just a great back and forth game. And Tiro comes up with second offensive uh, rebound. Nice pass on the inside. Two points by Brandon Kenyon. Wow. And another circus shot goes in for Nate Darling. Really likes going to that other side there, Chris. Wow. It doesn't seem to matter to him how many defenders are in his way. He can still get there. Tough, tough shot by uh, Shaquan Barrett. Ooh. Another jump here. Uh, good thing, I think uh, Nick Darling got that foul, or uh, it might have quiet this crowd down with that flush. Yeah. Because we knew it was going down. Yep, smart foul. We had a little glimpse of uh, the athleticism by R.J. Barrett. He was, uh, he, was, he was pretty high up there. Yeah. It's good on the first. Two for two from the line. Ontario down one. Lots of pressure on the inbounds. Nick Darling comes in to help out. Wow. I think if, uh, if Nate Darling uh, gets a chance to spin it off the backboard, it's almost automatic at this point there, Chris. Puts Nova Scotia up three. Chase Tynes comes up with Great a steal. steal. Good defensive hustle there, too, by uh, Shaquan Barrett. Oh. Tough miss there by Nate Darling. Ontario really looking to uh, push long two is off the mark. And Jordan Lyons comes up with the rebound, two points for Team Ontario. Alex Carson denied uh, on the baseline there. We'll get another chance. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Rowan Power in for Chase Tynes. Hmm. I think he might have got him a bit on the arm that time, but no call. RJ Barrett gets his own uh, rebound, puts it back for two. And travel by Nova Scotia. Six fourteen in the third. Fifty-eight fifty-seven in favor of Ontario. Scorsa comes up with that one. And Nate Darling loses the handle on that. Ontario looking to run. We got a foul. Got 
Fouls on Campbell Colpitts. And Grant Adu go to the line for two. Good on the first. He's been having uh, a great game here too, Chris. 16 points in that uh, in that first half. Hit a couple threes too. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely playing a uh, very strong player on both ends of the floor, having a great game in this final. Double screen up top for Nate Darling. Long three off the mark. Oh, wow. wow, tough, tough hoop. Tough finish, and if he hits this free throw, could give them a six point lead. And again, RJ Barrett does live up to the hype. Very strong move there. That was a tough foul on uh, Rowan Power. Like, really tried to just deny that shot altogether, but RJ just willed the ball through. Finish this three point play. Ontario getting uh, it's probably its biggest lead uh, of this game. Six point lead, 63-57. Alex Carson responds, knocks it down, knocks that lead down in half. Alex Carson for three. Chase Times putting some pressure in. Nova Scotia really needs to communicate on that, on that little pick and roll there. Not even making contact on the pick, just doing a little cut and getting in there. Nice behind the back. And the flush is denied. Ontario comes up with the loose ball. Again. Oh. Fans really unhappy about that call. Well, you know, one of the things I always say, Chris, is that nothing good ha happens on, at the rim on defense. Like, it's just one of those, you really gotta do all your work before you let them in, you know, a foot from the, from the rim. So, if you leave it in the hands of uh, the referees, it's, uh, you know, it's their best judgment and what they see, so. Yeah. Four thirty-five left in this third. And Ontario is up 66-60 over Nova Scotia. <clears throat> Substitution for Ontario. Keyshawn Saunders comes in. <clears throat> Shaquan Barrett's actually got a little bit of a hop there. He's uh, got some uh, medical trainers having a quick look at him. It's a tough foul. Team Ontario extremely upset over this one. They feel that uh, their player was uh, was vertical. In the uh, in the semicircle, the rule is it's uh, called like a no charge circle. Um, but you, the principle of verticality comes into play. So Ontario felt that their player just jumped straight up and came back down, and there really shouldn't have been a, a foul on that uh, on that play. And they might have had an argument on that one too. Nate Darling makes good on both. Uh, he's been automatic from the free throw line. Let's see what Ontario comes up with on this one. <clears throat> 10 seconds of shot clock. And a travel. They seemed a little unsure what they wanted to run on that, uh, on that set there, Chris. Nate Darling gets to the line again. Fouls on number nine, Grant Adu. Fouls on number nine, Grant Adu. First one's good. Go. 
And his first miss in uh, quite some time. Ball stays with Nova Scotia. 3.58 to go, 66-63 in favor of Ontario. Two team fouls against Ontario, four team fouls against Nova Scotia. Alex Carson's good for the three to tie the game. Late closeout, and they end up paying for it. Two points for Ontario. Number 10, Anthony McNish. Didn't take long to answer back the three on the other end. Tough pass on the inside. Tristan Hyde makes good on the assist by Andrew Milner. Ontario still looking to push. Tough shot is good by Keyshawn Saunders. Keyshawn Saunders. Nate Darling bailed out on that one by, uh, by Ontario. Number two, Jordan Lyons fouls him in the act. Nate Darling will try to make two free throws here to tie up the game at 70. I know in yesterday's semifinal, he was perfect from the line. And uh, we only seen one miss so far today. And he makes them both tie the game up. Three minutes left to go in this third quarter. Corner shot again for Ontario, just off the mark. Ontario comes up with the rebound, forces up the putback. Tristan High comes up with the rebound. Chase Tynes trying to push the ball. Gets fouled going in. Nova Scotia being extremely aggressive now, getting to the line four times in a row, I think. Four team fouls on both sides, so both teams in the penalty now. I'd say, Chris, uh, I don't think offense is a problem for either of these teams right now. It's, uh, it's really going to come down to the defensive side of the floor. Who's going to be able to uh, get the other team out of their game and, uh, and kind of slow down their effort? Tough battle on the inside, Tristan Hyde. Tristan Hyde, certainly an effort man when you think about his style of play. Ontario needs to box out a little bit harder on that, push the man back, kind of got underneath. Easy layup inside for Keyshawn Saunders, makes up for that play. Tie game again. Ah. A little too much dribbling, like I, I had said, gives up the uh, flush there. Team Ontario goes up two. Can't do it in three dribbles, Chris, pass it up. Too much talent uh, on, on the floor to try to force everything. Oh my. Long two for Andrew Milner. Kind of hate it when they prove me wrong. <laughs> Oh, here he comes. comes up. This team is, this uh, <laughs> arena's just gone electric. Travel. Travel call. Team Ontario. Ontario feels you got a little, little push in the back there. A little help in that travel by uh, Chase Tynes. He might have had something there, but uh, it's, a, it's a tough environment for everyone here. It's a good thing we have the headphones on. I don't know uh, what would be happening to our eardrums right now, Chris. Yeah. 120 left to go in the third. 74 Ontario, 76 for host Nova Scotia. Alex Carson off the top screen. Tough pressure. 
Oh, my God. Tyne gets the uh, hometown roll on that three. Five-point lead five. for Nova Scotia. R.J. Barrett inside, just off the mark. And Nate, Nate Darling comes, comes off the rebound. rebound. Close one there, almost lost it. It's a good time to kind of settle into their offense here, try to run, uh, run one of their set plays. Great pass outside Andrew Milner, just off the mark. I think the, uh, the whole building would have erupted on that one. Ontario trying to hold for the last shot. Three second differential between shot clock and game clock. RJ Barrett oh. gets fouled in the shot. Nobody likes it, but it's not like they're uh, they're unbiased in the gym here either, Chris. So uh, from from what I could see, I, I thought it was a foul as well. It was just a, just a tough one. Barrett's good on the first. 4.6 seconds left. Important box out here. Good in all three. It's a big foul there by Nova Scotia. Ball's in, eight down, four seconds to go. Great screen at half court. Very clean screen. And the long three just off the mark. <laughs> Coaches love the screen set there by Tristan Hyde. Yeah, I, you know, Ontario, Ontario is upset about that one, but it's really up to their own players to call that screen. Yeah. Tristan Hyde just set up as still as you can be with that open court screen. So um, we got uh, the fans are fans are going crazy here. Ontario actually uh, having their huddle away from the crowds uh, just so uh, <laughs> the uh, players could hear the coach. It's, it's literally that loud here. Which I think is just getting the crowd louder actually. One thousand three hundred fifty-eight. So over thirteen hundred fifty fans in attendance for this game. Definitely the biggest crowd I've ever seen. Nova Scotia coaches sticking with Andrew Milner over Campbell Colpitz as he's been shooting very well and working hard. He actually did, did start at one point uh, during the summer program as well. And look, mm -hmm. like we said, when you have a team this deep, uh, on both sides, really, uh, you know, if, if a player's hot, you're just going to leave him out there. Mm -hmm. Ontario will uh, get the ball to start the last quarter. Nova Scotia's guards have been very solid this whole tournament. Not many careless mistakes coming from the smaller guys. Three-point shot's good. Puts Ontario up by one. By Keyshawn Saunders, who's having a very good game here today. 
Tristan Hyde wide open on the inside. Oh. Great defense by number 22, Jordan Lyons on the inside for Ontario. Great strip Andrew by Milner. Milner yeah. Tough hoop. Good patience there by Barrett. Ontario up three. I think you need to spin that off the backboard if you wanted that yeah. one to go in, Chris. It's a big time flush there by Barrett. Nova Scotia needing to uh, settle down here. Alice Carson just off the mark. Nova Scotia needs to get back. Stop the run by Ontario. A little bit of a limp there on number 11. Yeah, he, he's looking to get substituted, actually. That's shake one. Uh, Ontario comes up with the board, gets fouled, and basket's good. Anthony McNish will go to the line for an extra one. Nova Scotia needs a bucket on this next one to stop this run. Coming into the game is Grand Adu. Coming in for Shaquan Barrett, who uh, he's, he's, definitely, uh, he's definitely hurt there, Chris. He's going back to uh, end of the bench. Uh, I guess whatever the uh, medical trainers try to do for him uh, isn't holding up for him. Biggest lead of the game for Ontario. Up by seven right now. Tristan Hyde comes down with the rebound. 86-79 for Ontario. 8.20 left to play. Referee's uh, trying to uh, correct the uh, shot clock. Sometimes instead of looking for that little pass on the other side, it's better to go up knowing you have the rebounder on the other side there, Chris. Let's see what Nova Scotia has on this email. It's Alice Carson. That's a little too easy. Uh, Ontario really has to stop that one. Yep. Sometimes the simplest inbound plays are the best ones. Tough hoop there by Anthony McNiss. Nova Scotia doesn't want to get into trading baskets here. They need to... Uh, he to score and get a few stops on their side. Three is short by Alex Carson. RJ Barrett looking to run and goes off his foot out of bounds in the baseline. Nova Scotia got a little lucky on that one. In the game's rolling power for Tristan Hyde. Tristan's really bringing a lot of energy uh, in this game as well for Team Nova Scotia. Nate Darling for three. Just off the mark. Nate Darling comes up with the rebound and foul there by Ontario. Number seven, Keyshawn Saunders. Not a bad foul, actually stopped the break there. Nova Scotia did have numbers up ahead. I think Nate Darling caught a knee in the quad on that one. I think there's enough adrenaline moving right now. He'll, uh, he'll, he'll work that one out pretty quick. Almost got pushed out. And he did step out on that one there, Chris. Coach Simmons kind of arguing what you were saying there, Chris, saying he was pushed out of bounds. When you get that close to the sideline, though, you do run that risk. Yeah, and he is, he is a long-distance shooter, so he, he's, uh, he's not afraid of being, uh, being wide on that. Yeah. 
And it passes off the mark on the inside turnover, Ontario. Both teams a little stagnant on their offense right now. Mm -hmm. Nova Scotia is looking to capitalize on this opportunity. And Alex Carson's fouled in the act, goes the line for two. These free throws will give the players a little rest. That fouls on uh, Jordan Lyons of Ontario. Alex Carson's good for the first. Six twenty-eight left to play. Eighty-eight Ontario, eighty-three for Nova Scotia with that made free throw. Tristan Hyde now in for Rowan Power. Both players are real energy hustle guys. Granadu with the ball. Tries to make something happen. Nothing's there, but they retain possession of the basketball. 12 seconds on the shot clock. And issue by Team Nova Scotia. Nate Darling has to commit the foul. Grant to the line for two. Short on the first. Proves to be a good foul committed there by Nate Darling. One for two from the line, 89-83 in favor of Ontario. 6-10 left to play. Nate Darling, long three. Might have got hit on that one there too, Chris. Yeah, the Mer Nova the Scotia definitely looking that one. for it. Cuts the lead in half, 89-86. Chase Tynes kind of daring him to take the three off the mark. Chase Tynes will do that to you as a defender. I don't know if I'd want to dare uh, R.J. Barrett, though, into doing something offensively. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure you may not like the outcome. Chase Tynes on the Oh, back. great rebound. Missed putback, second opportunity is good. One point ball game, five and a half minutes left to go. Ontario up by one, 89-88. Ontario trying to look to get inside. Little reach in there by Andrew Milner. I don't think any call that uh, goes against Nova Scotia can be liked, whether it's uh, whether it's uh, accurate or not. Kickball. A little bit of Timbit soccer coming back to memory there by Andrew Milner. <laughs> Ontario looking for R.J. Barrett, but Chase Tynes all over Oh, him. great steal. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Great shot in there. Tough shot in there. The concentration to finish a layup like that is incredible. <laughs> Nate Darling really putting on a show today. And completes three point play. Uh, Nova Scotia goes up by two. 5 10 left. 89 91 in favor of Nova Scotia. It really brought the crowd to their feet there, Chris. Ontario getting a little flustered. And coach looking for a timeout. Very nervous mistake there, committed by Ontario. On that last play, you got to give a lot of credit to Chase Tynes on that. His pressure on R.J. Barrett forced that high-logging shot, allowed Nate to come in 
and pick that and pick that play off. Yeah, great job by Chase knowing his assignment, knowing that they want the ball in his hands and not letting it happen. It's the most animated we've seen the Ontario coach right now. He's not happy with what he's seen. Lots of basketball left to be played. I don't think we could ask for a better uh, gold medal game here, Chris. Had at least 20 lead changes throughout this game. Back and forth. Big name players on both sides. Hometown fans are really loving this game right now. Yep. And I think any sports fan would. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure the fans out there in Ontario are, uh, are loving uh, the effort on on their uh, on their team as well. The two superstars on both sides, R.J. Barrett and Nate Darling, are really being uh, focused on the defense. However, you focus on one player on Team Nova Scotia, another one's going to burn you, like Alex Carson just did there. The 6'6 captain from Sackville. Tough shot is good. It's a two-point shot, long two by Granadu. He's having a great game today. Step back three, off the mark. Ontario comes up the ball, RJ Barrett. Guys looking for a double dribble, but uh, Nova Scotia didn't get their hands in on that ball. Bit of a force on the inside there. Ontario comes up the ball and two points by R.J. Barrett. Great Euro step on that one. Gives Ontario a two-point lead. Nova Scotia trying to force the issue there. Yeah, Coach rough. Timmons looking for a timeout, but he uh, calls that off with the steal. Ooh. Wow. The heads-up play to jump over the uh, player on the ground. Looks like he rolled his ankle there. No, he seems to be okay. Telling the coach he's okay, kind of waving the sub back, but coach is going to give him a little breather and have a look at it. It's Kayshawn Saunders also having a great game here uh, tonight for Team Ontario. Definitely doesn't want to come out at this stage, so. The national team member for Ontario, RJ Bear with the ball. Ontario drives Great hard. Block by Chase Tynes and they recover the ball. Ontario, or uh, sorry, uh, Team Nova Scotia really closed the gap on that one. Come up with the ball, Nate Darling with it. It's fouled by RJ Barrett, reaching in. A little bit of a cheap foul on that one there, actually, against the uh, national team player. Tough take by Chase Tynes. He's not good. Ontario comes the ball. Tie game. Two minutes, 40 seconds left to play. Four team fouls on Nova Scotia, three in Ontario. Great take to the hoop. Number 22, Jordan Lyons, putting Ontario up to. Nice little pick and roll. Give Alex Carson that three. Nova Scotia fans are on their feet. Nobody expects the 6'6 Alex Carson from Sackville to uh, take that shot, but that's just that's a, just a staple of his game. Absolutely. That's a little too easy on the inside. 
Great move by Anthony McNish for Ontario. Two minutes left in the game. Ontario up one. Nate Darling tries to drive. Alex Carson comes up with a big board. No reset Ball there. moved over to Andrew Milner just off the mark. Oh, great Hustle job by Tristan, by Tristan to strip it out of Ontario's hands. Andrew Milner with the ball. Just under a minute and a half left to play. Ontario up one. Oh. Crowd and coaches definitely want to travel on that one there. Timeout being called by Coach Timmons. Ontario goes up 101-98. As we talked about, Chris, uh, offense was definitely not the issue. It was really going to come down to defense. You keep saying that, but maybe it's going to come down to who's going to just score more. Like, yeah. it's always it always comes down to who scores more. But at the end, it uh, haven't seen all the defensive. Uh, Discipline that we'd uh, we'd like to see here on both sides, but certainly a high-scoring and entertaining game for the fans here in Halifax. Mm -hmm. Fans rallying behind the host team. Looking for their first U-17 gold medal. Nate John for three, and it's good. Ties the game up, 107. Left to play. That's a huge shot there for, for Nate Darling. Very clutch. RJ oh, Chris great defense. defense. What? Chase Tynes down on the ground is really hurt. Referee uh, stops it to uh, protect him, but Chase Tynes got hurt on that play. They'll have to sub somebody in for him for the last 47 seconds. I'd guess Rowan Power at this point. It's an unfortunate injury at the end of the game there. Chase Tynes had a fantastic game here. Great hustle plays. As expected, it looks like we're seeing Rowan Power come in for Nova Scotia. Crowd really loving the effort that he gave today. Left it all on the floor. Ontario setting up their defense in the half court for one of the last possessions of the game. That uh, pick and roll up top between Alex and Nate. Just off the mark. Ontario looking to take the lead here. 15 seconds of the shot clock, but a 10 second differential. Andrew Milner on R.J. Barrett. Trying to will his way inside. Loose ball Great comes up wrong power. In the hands of Alex Carson. No Scotia will get the last shot. Oh my. Try to win this game. It's in the hands of their sharpshooter. Off to Alex Carson. A shot for the game. 
Lay this off to Mark. We're going into overtime. Holy. I think we joked about the only thing that could be better is, uh, is a couple of overtimes <laughs> here. And, uh, As requested. Kind of be careful what you say sometimes, right, Chris? <laughs> Oh, we all have a day off tomorrow. We may as well stay for some extra basketball here in uh, St. Mary's in Halifax, Nova Scotia. What a great game, though. Really, you couldn't ask for any more. At the end of this, both teams are winners, really. It's, yeah. uh, they're both, both just leaving it out on the floor. So great effort on both sides here. New game, nothing, nothing. It all comes down to this overtime. A little bit of injury situation on both sides here. Uh, it does look like Chase Tynes is going to be out for the rest of this game. Uh, had to be carried out the floor. Uh, Shaquan Barrett, I believe, uh, number 11 for Ontario, has been limping. We haven't seen him back yet, but uh, he has a shoe off right now. So yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like he's probably out the rest of this game too. Tough loss on both sides. Both players have been uh, having tremendous games here uh, this evening. Nova Scotia will start. I can see it. Long three by Nate is good. <laughs> Nova Scotia strikes first in this overtime. Let's Could see how Ontario. Start. Yeah, let's see how Ontario responds. Long two off the mark. Ontario does come up with the rebound. Second chance opportunities. We talked about that at half. Long, long three by R.J. Barrett. Another offensive board. And good for two on the inside. That's tough. Grandadu having a great game for Ontario. 103-104 for Nova Scotia. Rowan Power taking it tough to the hoop. Great. That's good. Great. Barrett looking to run. We'll switch up top. Good contest by Power, but that was a tough shot. Looks like Nova Scotia was a little unsure whether they were going to come and help on that uh, on that post up or not. Lots of, a lot pressure. of pressure. Yeah. Oh. I think that's a, I think that's the first spin off the backboard he's missed. So, <laughs> but uh, great hustle play by uh, Tristan, Tristan Hyde, Hyde inside. He's going to go to line for two. We talked about the efforts of both uh, Tristan Hyde and Rowan Power tonight with all those hustle plays. Sub coming in for Ontario, Keyshawn Saunders. Giving Lloyd Pandy a, a breather. We have an issue with the clock here right now. We have the time up, but uh, everything else is off the clock. We're not seeing a shot clock or the uh, score. So we're having some technical issues. Oh, it, uh, it's back up again. Chase Tynes on the bench right now with his leg up. Very emotional about not being able to be on the floor for his team right now, but hopefully they can do it without him. First one's good. Nova Scotia 107, Ontario 105. 325 left to play. Ontario comes up with the rebound. Barrett with the ball. Oh. 
Fight on the inside, ball oh. stays with Ontario. I'm not sure about that call. Tough take inside, but it's off the mark. Try, Hyde comes up the rebound. Andrew Milner looking to push the pace. And Nate Darling for a long three is good. We've seen this all tournament by the Tanatha Prep School standout. That was from NBA range and beyond. Oh, no. Uh, Coach Timmons not, uh, not happy with uh, Milner on that one. Kind of made the cardinal sin of leaving his feet on that jump shot there. First one's off the mark. He's been very consistent from the line today, but not on that one. I'm sure this crowd uh, affects concentration a little bit too. The crowd trying to get involved as much as they can. Oh. We get the box out and Ontario comes up the ball. Oh, great Cardinals strip, strip on, on Milner. Inside. Andrew Milner making up for that foul. Corner three, Alex Carson, it's good. Ontario on a roll. Up seven. 2-10 left to play. 113-106, Nova Scotia. Good help by Carson. Blocked by Alex Carson. Nate Darling going in. RJ Barron looking to meet him high. Good follow by Tristan High. By Tristan High. And these fans are on their feet. Ontario is forced to call a timeout. Nine point lead in overtime with 115, 106. I don't think these fans will sit the rest of this game now, Chris. Incredible. Nova Scotia really shooting the ball extremely well. Ontario, though, extremely deep and talented team. Minute 57 left to go. Lots of time in the ball game. Nova Scotia has to stay disciplined. Looks like they're playing a box in one right now with Andrew Milner sticking to Bennett, Barrett. Long, Long two. two. He really wanted that extra point. Long uh, three-point shot just off the mark. Andrew Miller comes up, misses it. Tristan Hyde gets the rebound off the mark. Barrett comes up with it. Minute 30 left. Long three off the mark. Ontario comes up with the rebound. Misses the putback. White ball off Andrew Milner. Ontario looking to cut this lead down. Little on oh. short. Nate Darling steps in. Met up top. Great defensive effort. Offensive oh. board and he's fouled.
Great fight in there by Anthony McNeese. Trying to get that rebound. Misses on the putback, go to the line for two. 57.1 seconds left. Nova Scotia 115. 108 Ontario. Make that 109, six point lead. Two possession game. Both teams in the penalty. This is the second. Great rebound. Nova Scotia really wants to kind of slow this down. Absolutely. Kill as much time as possible. Yeah, time is on their side right now. Just get a really good shot. Try to get it under 10 before they start looking for their play. Nate Darling Eight has the defender on skates. Off to Alex Carson. Going inside. Not sure what yeah. happened there. Uh, looks like a uh, ball was uh, blocked off of Carson. Out of bounds. Ball goes to Ontario. Thirty-two point nine seconds left to go. The clock can start there. Three point shot is great. Great block by Nate Darling. Rome powered basketball. Ontario looking to foul, and they do. Great opportunity to seal this game right now for Rowan Power. As Jordan, Jordan his Lyons last, with that foul. Last 18 and a half seconds representing Nova Scotia as an under 17. This is the first. Still has an opportunity to make it a three, three, three possession game here on this one. Good on the second. Nova Scotia just needs to be disciplined, slow the play down. They don't want to foul. They just want to make sure as much time as possible is used. And Andrew and Miller come up with that loose ball. Paid special attention to not make the same mistake as before. And that'll Nova do Scotia it. Nova Scotia will win this game, 116-109. For host Nova Scotia, gold medal winners for the U-17 National Championship. This must be exciting for you too, Chris, as, as one of the former members of that team. Yes, very proud alumni. You see congratulations all over. A very, very uh, hard fought. Great game by Ontario. Um, certainly don't want to uh, miss out. Uh, giving them as much as, uh, respect as possible. Uh, Nova Scotia really had to have the game of their lives today in order to uh, top such a tough, great basketball team. Uh, some great, great performances by Team Ontario. Congratulations, Team Nova Scotia. They uh, went into this whole uh, season with the mantra of family, and you can see right there, hugs all around. They really are that, uh, that family with that huge win as uh, national champions this year. I have to say, uh, as somebody, I've actually coached uh, eight of the players in that team over the last few years too. So, so uh, proud, proud moment uh, for sure to see these uh, these young men uh, step up and uh, really take this opportunity, really seize the opportunity in front of a home crowd to uh, to really make history for Nova Scotia, winning this uh, this gold medal game. I think at this time we'll uh, we'll sign out again. Congratulations to both Team Ontario uh, silver silver medal and you you really can't say silver medal winners. Uh, they really left it out there. Uh, played a tough Nova Scotia team and uh, congratulations to uh, 
to uh, Nova Scotia and uh, all the players and coaches and the uh, basketball Nova Scotia staff for uh, all their work in getting to this point here today. And we'll uh, have the medal presentations and uh, closing ceremonies after this. So thank you, Chris, Thanks, for, uh, for helping out. And I uh, really wish you the best of luck in Western. And uh, I'll be watching your career. And when you do come down from refereeing your university games, just remember to be kind to the referee in that game. And uh, we don't always get them right, but we certainly try to. Absolutely. Call what you see. All right, buddy. Thanks, everyone.
And all you 17 teams to court number two, the far side without the score clock. All you 15 teams to court number two on the side and the end with the score clock. And we will commence with a closing ceremony in about three minutes. Thank you. Congratulations, both teams. And we will see you in three minutes. coach now, but just like you, like uh, junior mini and stuff, but I've been following basketball since the late 80s, so it's been a long time. So you live up here? Yeah, I live here. Yeah, I lived in the States for a while, but I live here now. So what's your name? Sean, Francois. Well, good to meet you. Thank you. You too. You too. Your name? Oh, young. Tim Walcott. Okay, nice.